Hello again. I thought I'd show you a new gadget I just bought. It's just something that I've known about for a couple of years, but I just didn't want to spend the money to do it because it's just like a feature that's really cool, but it doesn't really make the car faster or stronger or better. But I've done everything I can now, and I've got the KO4 upgrade. I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's the best upgrade of all the upgrades uh, that I've ever had. And it took a while to come here because I had the uh, stage one, then I went stage two with the drop uh, down pipe, you know, three inch down pipe. Then I went stage two plus with a high pressure fuel pump. Got the full performance exhaust. I got the front mounted intercooler. And when you do all that, you got the cold air intake and everything else, you can go to stage K04. And all I needed was the Bosch high flow injectors, the actual K04 turbo kit from the Audi S3 uh, APR machines it in-house they take off that turbo muffler or baffler whatever you want to call it so it makes it sound nicer and look nicer and fit better and it plugs right into my engine because it's meant for the 2.0 turbo in the Audi world and then their software the tremendous APR software doesn't blow your engine but it gives it better gas mileage better horsepower better torque better performance and ko4 is not extreme it just is good horsepower but this new gadget i got is called the vent integrated digital interface i believe that's what it's called but it's by p3 cars right now i'm monitoring the intake if you press the right button here you see it says air that's my air intake this is the actual raw data that the ECU is uh, evaluating, and it reads that it's 114, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if I give it some gas, like this, watch. It goes down to 102, 96, 99, just like that. Okay, now, if I go to another setting, this is called ignition. Okay, this is actually the drive-by wire. This is what's cool about that. It's the drive-by wire, and you're seeing in real time, when you put your foot on the gas, what uh, information is relayed to your drive-by wire so that you can actually see it go through different changes. You take your foot off the gas, look, it goes down to negative territory, and when it shifts, it goes negative. That's your uh, ignition timing, which is pretty cool. At first, I didn't know what that was. I had to read about that. We'll go through some of the other features real quick. This is exhaust gas temperature. It's 1,052 coming out of the exhaust. And that'll get hotter as we give it the gas, see? On the way on the interstate, I had it up to like 1,300 degrees. I believe it was like 1,200 degrees. Okay, so that is good. That's exhaust temperature. This is your throttle position. This is the position of the throttle. As you give it more gas, the, the, the values go higher. 100%. See? Then as I let off the gas, 16%. I think that's a percentage of your throttle position. So when I'm full throttle, it'll be 100%. Just idling now, it's still open because we're moving, so it's like 13, 14, 15, 16 percent. So, I'd like to show you a new feature I've added to my car. This is something I've wanted to do. It's just a fun feature. It's called the digital, or it's called the Vent Integrated Digital Interface by P3 Cars. And what we are monitoring right there is my exhaust gas temperature. If I touch the button once, you'll see it says exhaust gas, EGT. It's cooling down a little bit because I'm not going as fast, but it's 1,241 degrees coming out of the exhaust. If I touch it again, oops, there's the throttle. Let me go back. Okay, this is the RPM with the shift light. These are my actual RPMs. This is my speed. I'm going 73 right now, 72. Actual uh, digital write up speed of the vehicle, raw data of your wheels along the ground there. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. 
Okay, now this is a zero to 60 test. You can do a zero to 60 test. It did say I have to stop. And once I stop, it'll say RDY, which means ready. And what you do is you hit it, and as soon as you read 60, it'll stop the timing, and it'll tell you how fast it took you to get there. I may do a video of that when it's appropriate. This is my battery level, 14.4, 14.3. That's in live data being transmitted to this little device. This thing uh, plugs in right under here in your port, your programmable port. Same place where you get chipped for your car. And it's actually just reading data right off of your ECU. Um, I was gonna do a fancy video of how to install it, but it is so freaking easy to install. It took like, uh, I, I think it took less than 12 minutes to actually install it. Uh, it's an actual GTI Mark V vent that they retrofit with this little gadget. It's made just for my car and my engine configuration. Uh, they also make them for Audis and they make them for BMWs. Now let's do some other features. We got the boost. This is the actual the vacuum of the boost because we're not we're not hitting it too much. I'm just barely giving it the gas, so it's negative five and inches of mercury or HG. And if I let my foot off the gas, you see it goes way down. It's just the same as my boost gauge, which is analog actually. Which you can't really see. See? 21.7. And now we're coming to a stop to show some other features. We hit it again. This is my coolant. Um, it's not what the temperature needle says. This is the actual temperature of my engine right now inside. It's 201 degrees Fahrenheit. This is my air intake. This is the outside air coming into the engine is 98 degrees. You'll see when I make this turn. It will actually get lower because it's forcing air induction into the engine and it'll feel cooler. And as it goes through the intercooler, it'll change as well. Okay, oh, it's a red light. It's a really cool little unit uh, to have. It's only about $450, but you're getting a great thing. Basically, all you do is you pop out your, um, I had a little a watch kit, an Invicta watch repair kit. Little blades, real thin but strong. I use my finger from, you actually remove the fuse box panel over here. Use your finger and just gently push and you pry it with this from, from underneath. Just pops right up out of there, gently. You pull the old one off, you push this one in, make sure that all the tabs, there's like two up here, and two down here. Make sure they push in from the bottom first, then the top. And, uh, but you gotta thread the wire down through the open hole that goes into your fuse box. Um, then you plug that into a module. You also, um, let's see, watch. See how it's going down a little bit? I was barely moving, it went down to 96. But if you get on an open road, I've been up for like 24 hours, people. I need to get some sleep and I need to get some food. So it's just kind of a minute, miniature video. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. I'll show you some other features I have. Going to the world famous Wawa, which has the best healthy food around. I'll just quickly show you some other features. This may or may not be posted because I could probably do a better one. So we'll just kind of do this. All right, that is my intake. You hit it once, it tells you air intake, okay? Hit it again. This is called your ignition. Uh, this is actually your drive-by wire. I didn't know what that was originally, but you'll see it has a negative rating, like up to like nine to six. But if I put my foot on the pedal, you see the little light goes back and forth? That's your drive-by you wire. You can see how you interact with your throttle, with your throttle affects your ignition timing and you'll see it in real time when it shifts gears it actually goes into a negative range as well and this is your exhaust temperature here's your throttle position this is the actual position of your plate in your throttle and as you accelerate it gets higher and higher and higher 
And then this is RPM with the shift point. I'm idling right now, so it's 753, sometimes it's around 750 all the way up to, and you can see that's what it is too up there. That's the analog needle. You can see it in actual time there. And then you go to the speed, which we're not doing, it should say zero. And then we got the battery. Oh, I did the, the zero to 60 test is cool. That's the throttle, RPM, speed, and zero to 60. See, now if I wanted to do it, it says ready, because we're stopped. All I have to do is hit it right now. It would time how long it takes me to reach 60. So it's awesome. You can also hold this button in, and it dims it for nighttime driving because it's rather bright, you know, um, during the daytime. The default position is this. You can actually uh, hook it up to your dimmer switch, but I, you don't need to do that. It works fine just the way it is. It's good to read it. And we're going to get off of the 0 to 60. It's too tempting. We're going to do the, um, you know what I like to do? Not the coolant. Do the air intake. 116 degrees. Wow. Turn it off. Unplug it. It actually stays on for like three seconds. And it turns off. Actually, it's more than like five seconds. What's really cool is they really did a good job of. I wonder if I put that in right, actually. My panel's not completely in. It is, though. It's going to stay. I hope it does. Let me see. Maybe I got the wire a little bit pushing in there. You can use your finger on this and just. I'll show you where it goes. It tucks nicely right in there. See, that's the whole unit right there. It shipped in three days. Got it from ECS Tuning. It's awesome. You can see where it plugs in right here, underneath. See, the wire comes up in here. You feed it up through there. You just kind of keep it out of the way in the trim. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe just get that a little bit better behind the trim there. Like that. I think that's going to go in better. Okay, and we're just going to just snap it in. So the bottom one is a little bit wonky. But I think it's just the tab is just not sn snapping in. Other than that, it's going to stay. That's it. This is made by P3 Cars. And see how nice it is very top quality you can like save about 80 bucks or something and you can actually just uh, use your own vent and they'll just send this unit to you and you just got to break off these tabs here so it'll fit in there I just paid the extra 80 bucks and let them it comes perfectly just like that it works fine and the vent is fully operational just like a regular vent it sits right in there awesome it's by p3 cars you can look them up online